What up, though? We in here in the fish room with these two assholes. Got them separated again. Got the divider back up because she will not lay. Try to close this door, get rid of this glare. See if that helps. It's helped a little bit. She will not lay no matter what we do, what we try. And big boy over there got tired of waiting, got tired of playing them games, so he went after her hard. Tried to put her down, tried to take her out. So, to stop from him just going and killing her, I put the divider back up because I can go ahead and take her back to my mess and trade her out. So, I'm going to get rid of her. Uh, not this weekend because it's the holiday weekend, but probably uh, next two weeks, three weeks, I'm going to go ahead and take her back. Give me another female and try another female with him. So that's what's going on in here. They just ate. I just cut the light on in here about 20 minutes ago, half hour ago. But they ate. I just fed them the pellets right now. A big ass bag of pellets. That was the three pound bag that I got off of eBay. 50% protein, 16% uh, fat, 12% uh, 10% fiber, 12% ass, something like that. Whatever, whatever. It was good, good stats on that food. So I got the three pound bag of that. And I still got my uh, homemade gel food that I made. So I mix that up. Switch it up every now and then. Give them both. But they got the pellets this morning. And now they back up on today. A little case. But she got to go. Because she's not doing anything. Tube never even came down. So she's out of there. Um, I had to drop the water level because they were getting over the top of the divider. I came in here the other day and they switched sides. She was on that side and he was on this side. And I was like, damn, <laughs> that wasn't working. Then it came back in here again and they were both on this side. He was just giving her the business. So I got him back on the right sides and just dropped the water level down and took care of that issue. But that's what's going on in here. Now I come back out here in the other room. And this spot is bare. The 125 is gone. Yes, there was a 125 right here. Six foot tank, six foot long tank was right here. The big boy tank is gone. Had a leak. Uh, I tried to reseal it twice. Let it sit a couple days. Resealed it, let it sit. The seal hold for a couple of days, then it started leaking again. I tried to reseal it again, let it sit, let the you know, let the uh, silicone sit for a week, and it held for about another week and a half. Then it started leaking again, so I said, "All right, fuck it." Got tired of that, got rid of that tank. The tank only cost me $125 for the whole thing, tank and stand and lid and light, so I wasn't really pressed. Got rid of that. Said, fuck it. 
I'll get another one. Craigslist is a beautiful thing. You could do that. I'm about to set up, get my ribs ready for Thanksgiving, crack them open, rinse them off, cut off that fat, grab that membrane with the paper towel, pull it off, wipe them all down with the yellow mustard, throw the dry rub on them, got my apple cider, vinegar, and apple juice in there. Get them in the pan, throw them in the refrigerator, and they'll be ready to cook tomorrow morning on the smoker. What I did with my extra money was pick me up another pistol. I'm going to use this pistol for uh, everyday carry with my CPL. So I broke it down, about to give it a good cleaning, and I'm about to polish up my feed ramp. 600 grit uh, sandpaper. A number two pencil with an eraser. Just take the sandpaper up and down on your feed ramp so you get all the burrs out. Come back with your flits or your mother's polish. Wipe it down, wipe it down till it's polished up real good. I got this from Dunham's a couple of weeks ago. It was on sale for three twenty. Now, of course, uh, this week it's going to go down to two ninety nine. dollars so they do price matching, so I can just take my receipt back, and they'll give me the rest of my money back, they'll price match that refund, and give me the rest of my money back. So I got me a beer, my favorite beer, my Steel Reserve 211, I'm going to get my ribs ready, sit up here and Polish my feed ramp and watch me a movie. And that's what I'm going to do today. But that's that. That's the update. Getting rid of that female. Got me a new pistol. Got rid of the 125. Looking for a new 125 on Craigslist. And then the uh, groups on Facebook. And that's that, man. But that's where we at right now. That's what's going on. So about to crack these ribs, get them ready, get them in the refrigerator, polish up that feed ramp, get that pistol ready for everyday carry. I'm going to order my uh, holster from Fox Holsters. $39 for a holster, can't beat it, and that's a damn good holster. I'm going to get the, uh, the little Fox this time. I got the other, the other IWB, the, what is that, that, what is that one called, the hybrid but I don't like that one. I like the little fox. I'm going to get the little fox this time with the stitching on the back, the extra stitching for twelve fifty. Free shipping. Here made here in Michigan. Can't go wrong with them holsters. Love them holsters. But that's going to be that. But uh, yeah, there it is. So I'll let y'all. Peace.